Hi there, Adrian from Groundhog. Going to be talking to you about the contract extension. Uh, this is a pretty popular extension, uh, the, probably because it's the easiest way to collect digital signatures on your WordPress website without having to pay exorbitantly high fees to people like DocuSign uh, or Parsi or, or Adobe Acrobat or software as a service of that ilk. So we have uh, this contract extension and it's just a plugin like the rest of uh, any of our Groundhog extensions. You just plug it in your site and it immediately adds contractual functionality. Uh, so let's walk through what that functionality actually is. So uh, upon installing the contracts extension, you will have the this new contracts menu item under the main Groundhog menu item. Uh, and this will be the area where all of your contracts are listed. Uh, I have a contract too already, a, an example contract called the sign-off agreement. I can just click on the title in order to bring up the editing area. And it gives me a short code because it's just a short code that you paste on a page where you want the contract to go. You can give it a title and a description. This is mostly just for administration purposes. And then your actual contract goes right here. And it's kind of laid out so it's almost 8.5 by 11 and then uh, all of your contractual content can go here. Uh, something neat about the contract extension is that if uh, a contact clicks through from the an email link or comes through a form, you can merge in any information about that contact directly into the contract. So here I have their first name, their last name, their email, and their phone number all ready to go and be merged into the document when they're actually viewing it on the front end of your website. Next, what you're going to want to do is after you've actually created a contract, uh, and creating a contract is quite easy, you just go to Add New and it'll bring up that exact same screen just with no information in it. So you want to copy that short code. You can get it from both the, um, the editing screen as well as the list screen. Copy that and we can go to a page. And you just simply paste that short code in there. And after viewing the page, we can see that that contract is indeed there. So I've already signed this contract. So signed contracts are also in that contracts menu item, except there's templates uh, or there's a there's a sub menu sub sub menu item called templates, and then there's another one for signed contracts. If you click on the signed contracts, this will show you a list of all of the people that have actually signed contracts or contracts which have been signed. Uh, and those also have short codes if you want to post them in, for example, something like a member area, uh, and it shows you the author or the contact record which is responsible for said contract. Uh, and how long ago it was created. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one because I'm about to sign a new one. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. Beautiful. So we have that entire contract and if we scroll down to the bottom we can see that my information has indeed been merged in. There's my first name, my last name, my email address, my phone number and then it requests uh, or uh, inserts a signing box where it requests me to sign. So I can just use my mouse or a light pen or my finger if I'm on a mobile phone and just go like that. And there's my signature. I can clear that if I mess up. And then I can click sign. Beautiful. And now it's going to just reload the page. However, when the page is reloaded, it's going to have all of that information in it. Uh, and it's just going to prompt me to print. And I can print that. Uh, and it doesn't print it out in the style of the website, but rather this very legal looking Times New Roman font size 12 type document, uh, which makes it really nice and easy for uh, scanning and printing and, and all of that good stuff. Uh, just a side note, uh, this page will always appear different for, uh, for anybody that's using it. So you're probably going to want to turn off caching for this page as it's always going to be dynamic data and signatures. And you don't want someone else's information showing up when it shouldn't be. Okie dokie. Um, and now if I reload this page, that signed contract is now going to show up here. I can also go to this contact. So if I open up the contact record for that contact and I scroll down, there is also a new section to show me where that contract 
uh, has been, or to show me that that contract has indeed been signed by this contact. I can also click on view here, and this will bring me to an administration screen where I can delete the contract if they need to sign it again or something. I can print it here as well, and it's going to look exactly the same if I'm printing on the front end and all of that good stuff. We can see that their signature is indeed there, and their signature is stored in the database, uh, which is nice. And that about sums it up uh, as far as the administration screen is concerned. Uh, next, we want to launch automation whenever a contract is signed. And we get that functionality by having the new contract signed benchmark. And uh, this will happen whenever a contract is signed. I'm going to need to reload the screen here. Here we go. It'll allow us to select a sign-off agreement or the contract. So whenever a contact comes through and signs off that contract, there we go. It'll all be nice and dandy. And then they'll receive the preceding automation. So that sums up the contracts module in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on the plethora of options that you have, the Facebook page, uh, live chat, contact us form, email, info at groundhog.io, or any of those. So thank you for having some time with me, and I hope you have a great day.